you've done your research, you've watched all the YouTube videos, you've seen all the content, you've read the copy, you're gonna go with a Stealth Turbo for your L5P. But your question is, should I do the 64 or the 67? Now in front of me here, I have the 67 and the 64. Both these turbochargers have upgraded turbines, both have upgraded nozzle rings, both move more air than stock. Let's talk about that for just a sec. So the stock compressor moves in the low 60s for pounds per minute, 60 to 62, 63 maybe on a cold, cold day. What does that mean? Well, usually a pound per minute is good for about 10 horsepower at full giddy up, so full competition. Deleted truck, smoking, going down the track. So 600 horsepower is basically the limit of the stock compressor. If you go up to a Stell 67, you're gonna have 82 pounds per minute. 82 pounds per minute, you're doing the math in your head, that's 820 horsepower. Woohoo! Yes it is. Only if you're really pushing on the thing. Usually we say 770, 775 is the limit of this turbocharger in a competition scenario. The only way to really get that horsepower is to upgrade the high pressure pump. So go to a 12 millimeter CP3 or 14 mil CP3 and upgraded injectors are probably also gonna be in your future there. So you're really got a competition oriented truck at that point to make that kind of horsepower. If you're running stock transmission, stock injectors, stock pump, you're limited to low 700s. If you're running stock emissions equipment, you're limited to 630 to 650. So in that case, usually the 64 is all you need, okay? So the 64 moves about 72 to 74 pounds per minute. That means you can make seven, low 700s to the tire if you have a competition truck. If you have an emissions equipped truck, you have all the air you need to make that 650 horsepower. So the turbocharger is not gonna be your limiting factor. Well, Nick, why don't I just buy the 67? And that way, if I upgrade in the future, I have it. That's fine with me. 67 runs great. If you're gonna upgrade, buy the 67. If you think I'm gonna be at that 650 horsepower for the foreseeable future, I never see myself upgrading. I want the quickest spooling, most responsive, best towing, best high altitude operation turbo I can get and still make that horsepower, then the 64 is where you wanna be, okay? Things about the 64 that I should also mention, if you have a 2020 plus truck and you're a 10-speed transmission, so a situation where we can't adjust your shift scheduling, we can't get the truck to run in a higher operating range, we really try and lean towards the 64. And that's because we simply can't get the truck into that lower gear, we can't get it to downshift quick enough at this point to take advantage of the extra mapping, the higher flow of the 67. Now that may change in the future. If there's transmission tuning available for the 10 speed in the future, then you know what I just said doesn't count. But the long and short of it, you guys who are really oriented towards towing, who maybe live at higher altitude, who are never gonna go over 700 rear wheel horsepower, buy yourself the 64, you'll be really happy with it. The turbocharger makes 40, 40 pounds of boost, moves 74 pounds per minute of air. It makes great power and is awesome as far as response go. You guys who really want big power, want to push towards that 800 number at some point and want the headspace to get there, then the Stealth 67 is where it's at. If you have a stock truck and you think maybe in the future I really want to upgrade this thing, want to buy, want to buy the 67 and run it on stock tuning, that's fine with me. It's, the turbo runs great. You have a platform to build off of. Um, it's going to be a good situation. If you have a Derringer, a Pulsar, a box programmer and are never going to custom tune the truck, do yourself a favor and go with the 64. It's a better fit. You're gonna really take advantage of that box program. You're gonna have more air. You're gonna be able to make that power more efficiently. Uh, the 64 is definitely a better fit for you in that situation. Either way, you can't go wrong. You know, if you have more questions about your particular setup and you wanna to talk to one of our guys, we'd be happy to help you out. Call 815-568-7920. And I'm Nick Pregnitz with DuramaxSooner.com. Thanks for watching.